Hi and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, we're going to cook crab today. So what I've got over here on the stove. This is for boiling a crab. And here we've got a steamer. It sits over there and we're going to steam a crab in that one. Now the liquid in here is really simple, it's basically just uh, 3 or 4 litres of water, I've actually got about 3 in there. For each litre of water you need, you put in about 1 tablespoon of sea salt, and all I'm going to do is bring that to the boil, dump the crab in it. So now the time varies on the internet. Some say 15, some say 10, some say 20, so I'm going to do it for 15 minutes, not 20, 15. Now here, the steaming liquid, what we've got in here, we've got one cup of white wine vinegar, two cups of beer, and to that we've added two tablespoons of salt. So there's about three inches of liquid in there. We can add a little bit of water if we want a bit more liquid. We're going to bring that to the boil, put the crab in the steamer and put that one on and we're going to steam that one for 20 minutes. Okay, so we're going to get these on. Just move that over. Well, I'm going to let those two heat up. In the meantime, I'm going to get the victims. Now I live about 200 miles from the coast, um, so these crabs were caught just a day ago, and uh, they are alive. Um, and what they've had is this uh, cool, fresh pack to zero to minus two degrees put over them and it just uh, makes them go into uh, almost a hibernation so they won't be moving much. Now what I've got to do with these is kill each one. They're male crabs and the way you do that is you lift this flap up here and where that little indentation is down there you push a screwdriver through it then turn them back up this way you get the same screwdriver and you push it between the eyes through there and you wiggle it left and right and then it will be dead. That will stop it shedding any of its limbs when it goes into the water. And I'll do that for each one. Um, and then they just a question of getting them into the appropriate pans. Okay, this one's now started. I'll let you see that. So that's now steaming away. And we're just waiting for this water to totally boil up and then we'll put this uh, last crab in. And what we've done, you can see a hole there, we've pushed a screwdriver through there and moved it left and right. And also underneath this flap, I pushed a screwdriver straight through there which has killed this crab off. Okay, what I've now done is uh, got the second crab in there. This has to come back up to a boil again, and then that's got 20 minutes in there. And this is the crab in the steamer. Okay, we're going to take a sneak peek at what's cooking. So, uh, that's boiling away nicely. It's got about another 10 minutes. The corn just coming on. And this crab I've actually turned over, so it's now on its back. That's got about another five minutes as well. When these are finished, they will be taken out, dipped immediately into a pan of fridge cold water. I've got a pan in the fridge. I'll show you it here. If you can see that, there's a pan in there and it's uh, got chilled water in it. That will stop the cooking process 
then as I said I'll let one rest so it goes cold so I can turn it into what we call dressed crab here in the UK and the other one I'm actually going to eat. Okay here we are then. Two cooked crabs. This is the boiled crab and this is the steamed crab. Now the stir, I've soaked them in cold water and I've run iced water over them but they're still a bit warm so I'm going to let them cool down and I will probably use the boiled crab to make it into a dressed crab because it's a larger and this is the crab that I'm going to be eating, the, the one that I steamed and the corns falling away nicely 